Okay, so back again. I'm going to talk about the motor mounts on this. These are stock motor mounts off of 94 uh, Cummings. Uh, they are old mounts, new rubbers. So let me get my light and I will show you. Oh, where are all my lights? I'm going to show you what we're going to have to do. As you can see, there's no plate in here at all. So what I am going to do is, I will be plating this section right here and this section in here. I will be removing the brake line, uh, little plastic clips. I have already moved the line out of the way. I'll be removing these so when I put my plate in here, down this way, and then I run my mount part of the plate this way, I will be able to re-drill it and put this brake line uh, in that part of the mount. So what we're gonna do is, I have made some measurements, and this is four inches, end to end. So we, we have a piece of three eighths uh, by four inches wide steel. So both ends will get the same. The mount will be flush here. And then I will run off this mount. I will build it. Uh, actually, I will tack everything and show you what I have before I actually weld them in. So this will come off here, off this plate. It will come out and hook to here, put it in the drill press. I'll drill the holes when we find the center. The same way here on this one. And the other side might be a little easier to, to show you what I mean. Let me go get a piece of scrap. This is this is the what I bought. This is oh, let's see if we can get it here. Here it is. Three eighths. I have five feet of it. That's more than plenty. Here is a little piece of three eighths that I used on something else and it's just a piece of scrap left over. Um, so this, this will basically, well, let's get that light again. I can see it, but I'm not sure you guys can. Okay, so this is the passenger mount. This one's gonna be a little harder uh, because I have to reach farther. So again, it'd be a, let me get this in here. This will be plated from here to the top. And this is too short, but you see it'll be like this. Th this piece here will come off that plate and run over to here. Now I'll clean that up and round the ends to make it look nice. And then it'll be dr drilled centered and then use grade eight bolts on both sides of it to make the mount. Now I already have the engine spaced about two inches off the center pump using styrofoam so it didn't crush. Now the motor is a little bit out of square. Just if you were looking at it like I am, it would be something like, let's see, this way. So I gotta get the final measurements on this, move the motor exactly where we need to have it so it is nice and square. Uh, with the rear end, the transfer case, and everything in the rear. It's going to take a little bit of measurement. So, not a bad idea to have some cardboard. I lost my templates. But what I've done is, what I've done is, I've made a lot of little notes. This would be what the plating would be. It going across, it might be on a little bit of a different angle and then the gusset from the bottom of the plate up to help support the motor mount. Uh, I don't believe I need any on the way down, from here to down, just on the bottom, because the stress is all pulling down. And this would be the same on the other side. This is another, so this would be inside, this little block right here will be inside the frame. This will 
go past, and this shows where we are here, and this is the motor mount on the motor. Just basic drawings, but it gives you something, and your numbers, write down the numbers, write down the numbers, passenger side, driver side, take a lot of notes, save your notes. It'll be a book that'll be with the truck, so if you ever have to replace one of those, you can. So there we are on that. So now I'm gonna get to work and do some measuring, getting the motor and the transmission and transfer case in the right alignment with the rear end, cutting the drive shaft, getting it into place so we can, we can do the check on it to make sure it's where it needs to be. Then we will measure the motor, get the perfect side to side, make sure we're not touching anywhere. And uh, then I will start building the mounts. Now the mounts are exactly where on the height I want it, like I said, about two inches off the bottom hump. It's not touching anything, we've got plenty of room. And what I feared before has not come to pass. The oil filter has plenty of room to get by the, uh, the, the uh, front hump, okay? So I'll bring you back when I have some more. Uh, I have to work on the dry shaft first, unfortunately, to get that done. And then I will be building some plates and uh, show you the tools I'm utilizing to do that. Have a great day. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that like button. Love the comments. Again, see you soon.